Now we come to a concept that will help us analytically work with the vectors and it is the same thing the the there is a vector in space and this is how we had boxed it okay we 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 cover it inside a box and as we saw earlier say say it is something like this right so it is something like this and we know that this is x and this is y and this is z this we had seen yesterday now that this we had used yesterday for finding out this length okay now what if i want to represent this vector now that i understand how i have defined the addition of the vectors okay and the scalar multiplication so we'll see we have we have we have already defined that that a vector i cap is a unit vector a unit vector in positive direction of x axis correct and j cap is a unit vector in positive direction of y axis and k cap is a unit vector in positive direction of z axis okay now what happens what happens if if i know that this is x right this is x now vector wise if 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 i talk about vector wise what is it vector wise vector wise this length is what this is what vector this is x into i cap the moment i multiply i cap by x what happens the length of i cap is 1 it gets multiplied by x so that the total length becomes x and the vector remains in the same direction if x is positive so so from here from here till here this vector okay this vector is x i cap okay now what is this length this length all these four lengths are y correct if this point is x y z then this length is x this vector is x i if this length is y this vector is what this vector i'll draw it in green this vector vector wise it is what vector wise it is y j cap correct and then and then what is this this length is z along the z axis so this vector is what this vector is z k cap okay is it not so what happens for this what has happened this is x i cap so i started like that that is the that is the vector in blue okay that is the vector in blue so i'll i'll, I'll denote it like that x i cap is this okay then i have this this is my y j cap the green the green pen okay something like this and the obviously obviously till this point and the red pen is the red vector is this now what does that that mean how 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 have i how have i added how have i added the multiple vectors this is my x i cap the blue one the green one is y j cap the red one is z k cap so what is the resultant the tail of the first that means here to the head of the last so this vector becomes the resultant of that 
and that becomes what? And what is that? So x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap is the 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 resultant vector r. The position vector r can be expressed as what? X i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. Is it not? Do we understand it vector wise? Vector wise, it is this. xi cap y j cap and then followed by that followed by that just hold this pen green pen the green pen yes like that this blue is xi cap and this red is z k cap okay do you understand just, just rotate it like that yes yes just, you you just keep it there huh. this everyone gets that figure mm -hmm. this the blue is x i cap this is y j cap z k cap and the tail of the blue to the head of the red, red. that is this diagonal vector that is r here in this figure it is r you see that so that's why we say that the that vector wise it is this and yesterday we had we had found out that mod r is what x square plus y, plus y square plus z square root over so that gives you that gives you a formula for for finding out the magnitude of any given vector what happens if whatever is the coefficient of i cap, j cap and k cap, you square them, sum them, take the root okay, for any vector. So for example, if I am given, if I am given r is equal to 2 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 5 k cap, what is its mod r? So mod r will become? 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square root over. What is that? 13 and 25. So it is root 38. That is the length of it. Now, now uh, let me just uh, move ahead a bit. If someone says find out, find out a unit vector in that direction, we know that unit vector is this upon mod r. So it is actually 1 by root 38 into 2 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 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 5 k cap. So that actually becomes 2 upon root 38 i cap plus 3 upon root 38 j cap plus 5 upon root 38 k cap. Okay. Now, by the same formula, try finding out the mod of r cap. It is 2 square upon 2 upon root 38 square plus 3 upon root 38 square plus 5 upon root 38 square root over that. The coefficients of i, j, k I have squared and added x, y, z. Here x was 2 by root 38, y was 3 by root 38, z was 5 by root 38. So, so what do we get? 4 plus 9 plus 25 upon 38, 38 which is 38 by 38, which is equal to 1. So yes, indeed it is a unit vector. Find R cap can be the answer in under the root, or do we need to multiply and make sure that the denominator like this? Like this? Yeah. This will do. This is you, can, you, can, you can leave it like that. You can leave it like that. Okay. So we understand that 
how do we represent a, a vector as the sum of sum of three vectors okay and these are called the component of the vectors these are called the component of the vectors okay so x y z in this case are called x y z are components of the vectors components of the vector in x y z along x y z axis okay x y z axis z axis x y z Fine. 